What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It is day three of Drift Week. We did two days of drifting. Today is a travel day. And of course, because we're Irish, they've decided to bring us to Kilkenny's authentic Ireland, which doesn't sound good to me, the word authentic. As if Ireland is now gone and this is a recreation of what we have. I've never been so excited for an Irish pub or anything. Yeah. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy's already honorary Irish, so he, he, can, he can test it as well. He's been in a few Irish bars. You can see how it goes. So we're here today to do a long trip before we get to our next track. It's a really fast one. It's called Hallett. Is that the name of it? Hallett. Hallett. Yeah. Hallett. So it's this fast. fast. Fast track. The opposite of what we just did. These two cars are going to be uh, under pressure there, I think. But for the moment, let's be under pressure and have a few pints. And uh, chill today. You can see a couple of more drift week cars lined up over there. It's weird seeing these on the street, it's like it. crazy. It's funny yeah. how many people have stopped and like, what's going on? What's going on? It's like. It is weird though, you see a bunch of drift cars just parked outside a, like a residential area, so yeah. it's fun. It kind of mixes the two worlds of your normal life and your drift life into one trip. It's cool. Anyway, let's go inside and see what this place is all about. Alright, so what's the Irish way of drinking this? You split, split the G. Okay, so one big gulp will be at the top of the Guinness. Oh, not big enough. It's okay. The great thing is, it's thing to practice. <laughs> it tastes like someone dropped a handful of pennies in this beer. <laughs> Welcome to American Guinness. Shoot me with that thing. I'm gonna be pissed. You know, he's getting shot here. Get Wayne. <laughs> oh, my ear. Yeah. It's like the psych building. You ain't gonna compliment the catch? All right, so we arrived at our destination. Beautiful views in Oklahoma of our Airbnb. We're gonna go inside and check it out because we don't know what Adam has booked us, but I hope it's nice, Adam. <laughs> you wanna know what Adam hasn't booked us? What? Not this house, because it's over there. <laughs> what? We're in the wrong house. <laughs> this is not the house. It isn't? No. That's awkward. <laughs> We've got a boat. We have a boy, huh? I much prefer this house, we got a boat with this house. It's like a wood cabin. So we have a lovely porch. Oh, I want this room. Single bed with a foosball table in the room. Oh dear. 
Where are you going to find your bed? Oh, there you go. Shug at the top. You know what, Adam? For the first time this trip, I think you've done all right. It's all right. Good morning guys, it is our next day on Drift Week and as you can hear from my exhaust scraping that we are not on a road where our Airbnb is, as you can see, is a dirt track where Jimmy and I's car, well, both of our cars are actually just hitting the ground. But we're heading to Hallett Motor Speedway today, it's the fastest track on Drift Week 3. We're a little bit nervous and there's a high possibility of rain today which doesn't bother me so much but maybe bothers everybody else on Drift Week who don't drift in the rain that often. So we've got about a 20 minute drive to get there, we're excited, we're nervous, we're anxious. Let's get to it. All right, guys, before we hit the track, I want to talk to you about something very special we're working on behind the scenes back home. All the boys back home are working on a very special launch for the end of November. We're doing two mystery boxes. So one of the mystery boxes is going to be 125 euros worth of Drift Games merch and accessories for 100 euro. And the other is going to be 200 euros worth of Drift Games accessories and merch for 150 euro. So massive savings all around. However, we are going to throw in some crazy golden ticket prizes in. It's going to be four to five different prizes in each category. I'm talking wheels. I'm talking lifetime supply of oil. I'm talking vouchers. I'm talking Drift games experience stuff it's going to be crazy we'll give you more details on social media closer to the time but just be prepared we are dropping two mystery boxes at the end of november and they're going to be wild savings and wild prizes all right let's get to the track Alright guys, obviously on Drift we're using a lot of tires. When we're back home in Ireland, we hit up the tirebox.ie. Now whether it's your van or your truck, or it's your normal car or a performance car, or a set of drift tires for a drift day, check out the tire box. They have an amazing array of tires, all in stock and next day delivery, and they're really sound to deal with as well. So tell them we sent you, grab yourself some better value and better tires at the tire box. So we've just been looking at the track, it looks absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough power for it in the drive, but we're gonna give it a go. So uh, Josh is gonna come out for some some moral support, like a therapy dog with me, just to just to keep me calm. You know, what I'm gonna be is like, you know the people on the jockeys on the horse, that's what I'm gonna be, like go faster, faster, faster. I don't know, let's see how it goes. Okay, first lap, here we go.
you're going to go on drift week. miles an hour that, that was just flat fun. through the transition as well that is frightening can't say i didn't try god loves the trier So Dave's making the car work pretty good, but then again, it is a stock VQ, so it's a bit underpowered for this track. But there is one man that's offered to me for a passenger spin, and um, he's not so underpowered. So you say, we're, Josh? You say we're going backwards? We're going back. We're just going for a Sunday drive. A Sunday drive. It's not even Sunday. I'll just jump in and we'll uh, take you to mass. Going to mass on a Sunday on a leisurely drive. Oh. It's always great when you get in the car and you get told that you kind of have steering. I kind of have steering and the brakes are getting better. So we should be able to stop. What do you mean better? They weren't very good. When I mean very good, there was no brakes. Uh, there was no half This brake. is the fastest track we're going on. I know, but if you just don't f*** up, it's okay. So we'll try like, not yeah, to so up. Yeah, don't, don't f*** up. That's great advice. <laughs> you know what? I'm pulling this tight. <laughs> Hey, as they say, send me! That was a fun lap, wasn't it? Three backwards entries and one lap. I have never been that backwards in a car. I didn't think a car was actually capable of that. <laughs> that was, that was insane. Insane, oh, I insane. I to cool the car down and they won't let me out, I'd say. <laughs> she is hard. Did you enjoy it? My next passenger ride, uh, there's going to be a lot to live up to, I'll tell you that. I think you've ruined me. <laughs> I, I think that was a 10 out of 10. That was more than, that was an 11 out of 10, so. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed oh it. Oh my thank god. You. Thank you, thank you. Car is finally starting to work, even though we had no power steering at the end. 
Yeah, yeah so he did that with no power steering, just to, <laughs> just to rub insult to wound. <laughs> Hopefully it keeps working, we can have a good time, but like today is really my first day of drift week. Because I'm after burning off a few sets of tyres. It's a great experience, everyone is really helpful and it's great having you guys here too, so we can have a couple of beers at night and relax and... Probably learn a few tips off us as well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's really good. So, possibly one of the nicest cars on Drift Week. Duarte, are you sure about this? Been good so far. Bad thing, this is your last set of tyres. Nah, it's, don't say that. Don't say That's that. Like you, you got another set of tyres. This is VIP drifting right here. This is, this is you no drift. You want music? Coming. What do you want? I'd like a bit of aircon, or maybe a heated seat. Right. So I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I just went out for a passenger spin with James Dean. Oh yeah, that, I'm nothing like that. He's, in, he's a madman, bro. He is a madman. Well, I think you're going to have to turn up a level. say last set of tires and it was gonna be eventful and my god that was eventful escape uh, dude two bro two <laughs> we need to give them a hug now so first laps today I was very timid I was a little timid on this track the car didn't have a lot of power I didn't I haven't driven a car with a lot less power than I'm used to on a track that's faster than I'm used to but I think as we're going through the day, I'm starting to get the hang of it, which is what this whole trip is about. I'm not the best driver in the world. I've never claimed to be. I'm not saying I'm the most competitive driver. This trip is all about becoming a better driver and to drive a very heavy stock car on the fastest track I've ever driven and get around and do some laps, decent laps. I'm very proud of myself for that. And uh, I think this is what I wanted Drift Week to be for me, is a bit of a challenge on tandems on some tracks and then speed on another so that when I get to my own competition cars, I'll be better. That's been lacking for me for a long time now. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of last laps for the day now. It's a bit drizzly, it's a bit sketchy, but I think I can handle it. So let's hop in, let's get four or five more laps today and call it a day.
Wait, get down here, get down here. Oh, what the hell? I looked behind, I saw your flames. That's why I stopped. Just exploded. Just went. Yeah, like, wasn't even drifting. Good thing I had this. That's scary. All right, so that was dramatic. Not the way we wanted to finish. Uh, Filming something, we were doing some shots for James on the outside for uh, Josh and Adam and uh, James was doing some camera car stuff for me to have some cool shots from behind Obviously the car goes on fire, awful panic James okay, Josh's okay, I'm okay um, I was obviously okay because I was outside But yeah, not what you want to see happen, he's had a lot of car troubles this week James So, And he wasn't even drifting, he was just driving around So, Like no joke, like he was not even over 3000 RPM Like no. he was tipping ready to go and then just smoke just erupted. And now, it started to rain at the track. So I really want to go out driving, but now I'm a little shook from that happening, but I think just to shake it off, yeah. I'm gonna go out in the car and just do some laps. Whatever happens from here, happens from here. It's drift week, right? So um, Adam O'Connor took my car out to do some uh, chase driving with James. Jimmy, you can come here and have a look at this. So yes, Adam yes. did one or two laps today in the car, mm -hmm. and you know what? He gave himself some work to do. <laughs> Because he went off the track. Well, in fairness, Adam did put it on. And he definitely took it off. <laughs> and now he's going to put it on again. Well, you got a, a whole supply of self tappers ready to, be fair, to go. He has, uh, he has got most of the pieces. We'll make it work. All right, it's starting to rain. Time to shine. <laughs> It's like... Oh, that was some run. Perfect.
perfect timing for two even tire wear, two tires. Two on tires one. popped on the two cars. <laughs> Went a little bit hot, did you? Do you know what? I I was I went out with Adam and I said before we leave here today, I want to do the perfect run the whole way through the track. No, no time. I did it. You actually let the lads go by. I said this is going to be the perfect lap. I third geared on the first yeah. corner, which I hadn't done all day. I linked the whole track, and as I was coming up over the hill, I could start to hear the tire go, and I was like, "Don't do this to me now." Transition over the hill. It's like 80 miles an hour. Bang! One of the tires goes. Come down. Like, we were like, uh, Adam's like, uh, and I went. Keep it in! And then the other one went bang over the last <laughs> corner. Came in on two punctures. That was unbelievable. I was like, one of my favorite drift, drift laps I've ever done. And the progression from like pussyfooting around at the start of the day to like absolutely sending it. And that was as much as she had on the last lap. This was a brilliant day of drifting. I, I'd started off like a little sketchy. Then we had our little dip in the middle, obviously, with the drama with James and the fire, which is shit. And then just to get it out of our heads, just to go back up again, we went out for some crackers at the end. So that was. What track is this now? The second track, but day second four? Track, third day of driving, second track. So right now we've done three tracks. Two, tra two tracks. Sorry, we've done three days of driving. Yeah, I've done six layouts. Yeah. I've done... Many tires. No, 12 tires. I've definitely done 70 laps now at this stage. And we're not even halfway through the trip. And the car, only damage today was you. So thank you guys for watching. We're loving all the content and all the making it for you guys and you guys replying to it and send us nice things in the comments and letting us know. As I said, we're here trying to be better drivers. Hopefully that's coming across and we're not even halfway. Imagine by the end of this, how much hardship this G37 is gonna go through. But so far, she's a little trooper and we've got eight hours of road driving tomorrow and I'm not gonna enjoy that. We'll see you guys on the, uh, uh, you know what? Not on these tires. Not on these tires, on some fresh Avellinos. But you know what guys, in the comments, let us know what you think of the experience so far. We're having a blast on this side. We hope you guys are enjoying it on yours. Let us know in the comments. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, do it. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys on the next one.